Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com with another weekly update. This week I want to share why getting what you want could be a number of things whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care and more importantly how to get what you want. If your loved one is critically ill in intensive care getting what you want can appear to be a real tangible and significant challenge. Obviously what you want for your critically ill loved one is for him or her to get better and to fully recover and leave intensive care as soon as possible. But what if the reality you are facing is contrary to what you and your family want for your critically ill loved one? What if you and your family have been told that your critically ill loved one is not getting is not going to fully recover and is facing major impairments for their future quality of life? Or even worse, what if you and your family have been told that your critically ill loved one is not going to survive their stay in intensive care? First of all, take a deep breath. Secondly, verify the information that you have been given, as sometimes intensive care units may distort some of the clinical facts in an attempt to not give you too much hope or to not give you false hope. How can you verify information being given to you by doctors and nurses in intensive care? Number one is to ask questions. Any question really. There is no such thing as a stupid question. It's the health and the life of your loved one at stake anyway, so asking lots of questions is imperative. Furthermore, look at online resources such as intensivecarehotline.com in order to find out more about intensive care and the wheels that are in motion once your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Also, get a second opinion from another intensive care doctor or intensive care specialist. Sometimes a different set of eyes is a good thing and often a different set of eyes may not be too entrenched in the politics of an intensive care unit and may give you a new perspective. But what if it's all doom and gloom and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel? What if you have verified that the information given to you is real and is not perceived? What if your critically ill loved one is not going to fully recover? What if your critically ill loved one is not going to get out of intensive care alive? How can you still get what you want? Back to square one. Take a deep breath. And now, you might have to adjust your thinking and also adjust your goals in order for you and your family to get what you want. It could be as simple as making sure that your critically ill loved one is comfortable. It could be as simple as making sure that your loved one's suffering is minimized. And it could be as simple as that you and your family can spend enough quality time with your critically ill loved one in intensive care, even if he or she is not going to survive in intensive care. Getting what you want is often peace of mind, no matter how difficult and sometimes heartbreaking the situation is. By adjusting your getting what you want and your goals according to the situation will give you this critical peace of mind and it will help you to cope with your situation more effectively. If you want more information and advice on the topic and how to get what you want, we have free resources available that will help you take in control, have power and influence decision making whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. If you want any of these free resources, just email me to support at intensivecarehotline.com or if you simply have any questions how you can take control of your, your family's and of your critically ill loved one's situation in intensive, in intensive care, I can answer your questions. The free resources we have available for you are free reports, five things family do who are in control, have power and have influence in the situation when their loved one is critically ill in intensive care, the five things you need to know if the medical team in intensive care wants to limit treatment, wants to withdraw treatment or wants to issue a not for resuscitation order for your critically ill loved one. Next free report. Follow this, pro this proven five step process on how to be in control and influential if your loved one is a long term patient in intensive care or is facing treatment limitations in intensive care. Other free report we have. Follow this proven five-step system and you can let go, eliminate and manage your and your family's fears, frustrations and anxiety fast and in the process gain control, power and influence fast if your loved one is a critically ill patient in intensive care. So if you want any of these reports just send me an email. Also download your free instant impact report below 
by entering your e email and you'll get free membership as well. You'll also get four other more free reports that will help you take control, gain power and, and you can influence decision making, making immediately. Thank you for watching this week's blog. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I'll see you in another update next week.